Hi guys, how are you? It is a dreary day outside today in Knoxville, so I decided to film with my Christmas tree in the background to bring a little holiday cheer to the experience. I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday. Today's video is five game-changing things that you can do with your hair routine that are very easy to implement and chances are you just didn't know about them before. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one is the way that you are using bobby pins. Chances are you are already using bobby pins somewhere in your hair routine, whether you are securing a braid with them, doing a little twist, maybe you're getting your bangs out of your face, whatever it is, they're great for that. But a lot of times I see people using them the wrong way. Bobby pins have a squiggly edge and a flat edge, and a lot of people put the flat edge against their head but really, if you put that wavy edge right against your scalp, I've found that it is a lot more secure when you do that. Another thing is I see a lot of people do like a twist and they're twisting their hair away from their scalp, pardon me, and they put their bobby pin in and they add three more bobby pins going that same direction. Well, you don't need that many. You just need one bobby pin to cross it and what that creates is like a locking pattern and those two are not gonna slip and this would stay here all day. So yeah, so once they are secured like this, they are not gonna move. Also, bobby pins come in other colors. This is a blonde one, this is a brown one. So if you have blonde hair, just go find some blonde bobby pins and that's gonna make it a lot easier for them to be concealed with your hairstyle. All right, guys, number two is going to be dry shampoo. If you are like me, you have already discovered the miracle that is dry shampoo, and that is probably a good thing because washing your hair every day may not be the best for your scalp. It can strip a lot of the natural oils that your scalp produces that are actually healthy for you um, by doing that every day, and so sometimes it makes your scalp overproduce oil. So if that's you and you're like, I have a really oily scalp, maybe experiment washing it less and see if that affects it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time though, and in that time you can use dry shampoo when your hair is dirty to absorb those oils. But what most people do not know is that you can also use dry shampoo on your clean hair. So a lot of times the first day I wash my hair, it is silky and shiny and like laying right flat on my head and I like that kind of dirty messy look a little bit more and dry shampoo will give me that. It gives me a little bit of grip, it gives me texture and it gives me volume. So I just kind of part my hair right along my crown, spray a few pieces and then massage it in just kind of like a mad woman and it just gives my hair that little bit of boost and a little bit of grip and a little bit of that undone look that I like more for my hair care. So. Most people don't know that. Also, if you're a brunette like me, look for a dry shampoo that is made for um, brunette people. And it is awesome because it is not gonna give your scalp that powdery white residue that a lot of those other ones will give you. So check that out. They have it obviously in this brand, Moroccan Oil, but they have it in a lot of brands that are at your local drugstore. All right, guys, this next trick is about braids. There are several kinds of braids out there. You've got Dutch braids, fishtail braids, um, French braids, four strand braids. This trick can be applied to all of them. So this is just one simple thing you can do to make your braids look more voluminous and way better in my opinion. I started with a simple three strand braid as if I wanted to braid this hair away from my face. You can see that the braid is pretty small and nothing is that special about it. Hold it with one hand somewhat loosely and use the other hand to loosen the outer edges of the braid. Go back and forth on each side a couple times until you have the amount of volume that you want and then secure with a bobby pin and you've got a nice big voluminous braid that was really made out of just a little bit of hair. All right guys, trick number four is about blow drying. So um, I highly recommend blow drying your hair if you have hair texture, anything like mine, and you're gonna try and curl it yourself with a curling iron, curling wand, or you're gonna try and straighten it um, instead of letting it dry naturally. I find that when I let my hair dry naturally, it like pulls 
a lot of the weight down and it ends up drying a lot more flat to my scalp and it's harder to get volume later. So if I blow dry, I find that I can get a lot more volume. But my biggest trick and the easiest thing to do is if I'm gonna part my hair this way after I blow dry, then I take all my hair and I start my blow dry with my hair going this way. So I'm starting pointing this direction and then when I'm done blow drying, I'm just gonna be able to flip it over and there's gonna be so much volume and it will work wonders and it's so easy because you had to blow dry your hair anyway. So just think about that. If your roots are going this direction and being dried this way, then when they get pulled the opposite way, they're gonna have a lot of lift to them. Um, so that is a big thing. Also to get volume in my crown, I like to um, throw my head over and blow dry this direction and that will also give me that. So yeah, just all about the direction that you blow dry. Don't just blow dry top down because then your hair is going to have no volume. All right guys, for our final tip, number five is about hairspray and what it can do for you. If you were like me, then you probably thought hairspray was just for your mom and for your grandma and it had a funky smell and it made your hair stiff as a board and you wanted nothing to do with it. Well, that was me, but I am a changed woman and I have seen the light and what hairspray can do for me. I talked about in my curl video how important it is to hairspray your hair before you curl it and how that'll make it stay all day. And for that, I use my Moroccan oil medium hold hairspray, which I highly recommend. But even on a day like today, if it's just kind of drizzly outside, there's humidity or I have static and I want to hairspray my hair when it's like straight, I can do that and I can still run my hands through it. And it just kind of tames those flyaways. My friend Katie with really cur naturally curly hair has said that she started using hairspray in her beauty routine just because it made it easier for her to tame some of her frizz. And that is so true for you girls who just scrunch your hair or leave your hair with your natural curl. Um, these are two products I recommend. This is the Moroccan oil one that I've talked about before, and this is the Redken Quick Dry 18. Both of them are medium hold and they are both awesome. I like the smell of this one a little bit more, but they are both great hairsprays and will do wonders for you with just about any look you're going for. Um, and so I highly recommend that. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are five things that you can do that are easy tips and tricks just to change your hair routine for the better. Um, I hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday season and that you all have a Merry Christmas. And don't forget if you need any changes for your hair for the holidays, don't forget you're going home to your mom. She might make a comment like, when's the last time you got your hair done? Um, you can come see me at Hair Peace, and that is in the Bearden area of Knoxville, and I would be happy to have you. And so I hope that you all have a fabulous rest of your Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.